buddy. From Alaska. That's him. How you been? What's up, guys? So Andy and those guys are coming up uh, here in a couple of days. You guys been seeing much? No, nothing yet. Well, it rained today or some dang thing. I hope it doesn't. <laughs> How long you been up? Uh, since first. Up here comes Red Subaru. Oh, all right. Well, uh, we <laughs> were camp. We were. I was wondering if you're up here, so we went up the meadow. I said if they're here, they'd probably be parked in the meadow, but they weren't. So we're on our way, though. Yeah, we're. we're uh, <laughs> There's nobody there, but there was yesterday. We're gonna be. We're camped down that lower spot where we were last year. So those guys will be here, I think, Sunday night. Okay. Good luck. Well, there you have it. That's the, all you There's need the to report. know. Talk to the guy who lives here the whole season. One big surge of deer and then a break. Yeah, that's kind of what it looks like. like it's kind of cool to see that and hear that because it looks like they've moved through. They're but, here, yeah. But they're not here. really here. Like, because there's enough trails yesterday. I was like, man, I could sit this one. I could sit this one. But then there was no deer in any of the foothills when we walked around. So it's like, well, why would I sit that? There isn't even any. Well, you guys, y'all wanna, let's look at a map and just see what this comes out on that other road. And then if it does, we'll just keep going. If it doesn't, we might just go back down and drive up the, yeah. just go up. Yeah, go find them where they're staging. So uh, if you take this ridge like and walk that tree line right up in there there's yeah. a road that it's, it, that runs right up that ridge and on this side there's a big brush field okay and if you get up there probably half a mile there's another road cut that's closed yeah but those deer walk that road cut around and there last year there was a freaking cow trail coming down that ridge down this way yeah if you yeah. just walk straight up this tree line and go straight up okay. and where those two things intersect yeah man if Ambush. you want to sit yeah that would be killer all right if there's deer coming down but i don't know maybe on the front or back end of the storm would be a good time to go up there and just sit but yeah. if you had a if you had one of those lighter weight tree stands or a saddle or something that, yeah just to get up above a little bit there that's the ticket well could you climb up in is there I mean, a tree around you could probably get in you got fir trees but yeah freaking bear hug that thing i got some strong inner thighs you know do a lot of thigh master work <laughs> There was, uh, I, I ran into a dozen cow elk right, right there last time I was coming down. I could have got a shot at one of those. Shit, man. Sounds like somebody should have an elk tag in their pocket. I was sitting, Teague and I were sitting down there one time and this truck pulls up here and stops. Yeah. And I, I poke out behind the bush and look at him. That son that's just looking at me through a freaking rifle scope. Oh, jeez, dude. During this season? Yeah. Oh, man. He had a, he had a, rifle with a bipod on his damn hood and he was looking at me oh that's nice that that make you feel kind of odd yeah did you feel like going up no, i felt like, felt like going hiding. up there and strangling him but. <laughs> yeah he might have had the advantage for a couple of hundred yards <laughs> yeah i see trails and tracks over there on the hillside but i ain't seen no deer yet It, what strikes me as odd though is there's been elk all over these hills. It doesn't make sense for the elk to be down and not, and the deer not to be down. Got an old scrape here. The, uh, the rut's over, but last year we were down here. They must have been some fawns coming into heat late because there was some rutting activity going on. But. Seriously doubt they're checking scrapes. This one hadn't been used in a while. Got an old skid trail, old log road right here that these deer travel up and down. But <clears throat> there's really, I mean, we've been up here all day and have only seen, I don't know, maybe five deer. But normally these trails, when they, or these roads, these skid roads, when they get snow on them, these things will be solid. I mean, just solid deer tracks. And I mean, there's been deer up and down them. They're just not here in the numbers that they normally are.
little basin bowl down in there. It might hold some deer. some dinner. There you go, skin on grouse breast. Piece of grouse breast. Thank you. That liver, gotta bring that liver over from the gut found on the side yeah. of the road. Yeah, get that out. <laughs> so probably, we should fry some up for breakfast. Yeah, we should. Yeah, that'd be rugged. <laughs> hey, uh, there's some Parmesan cheese in there. Can you grab that? I need you to scrape this stuff off this lid. Yeah, never mind, I got it. Throw some Parmesan cheese in there. That's like carbonara right there. There you go. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Holy cow. That's unreal. Duck and grouse. Carbonara. All right, dinner served. Man, man, that grouse is amazing. I love it.
You got those deer running by me? I wasn't zoomed in or anything. I should never see something. Well, that was fun. I don't know if you can see them or not, but all those elk are on the uh, on that next ridge over, kind of heading up through that little saddle there. <clears throat> Something, they kept looking down below me and my wind's kind of going down there. So I'm wondering if there wasn't a deer down there that kind of started getting a little spooky that alerted them. But they all kind of hustled over to that other side pretty quick. Probably got, I, I, if I had been trying to get a shot, I probably could have pushed it and snuck over to these rocks and then I would have had like a 15 yard shot. But from that pine where I was standing, they didn't get any closer than about 40 yards. So pretty easy compound shot, but pretty far poke with my stick bow. I don't get it. I've been into elk every day. Normally, it's uh, the elk are the ones that stay high and the deer will come down first, but <laughs> I've seen 19 elk today and three deer. The deer were 300 yards away. hills this big ponderosa pine and their their heartwood and stumps is this real resinous stuff it's full of resin it's really volatile if I can get the wind off of it this stuff's like gasoline it's freaking awesome for starting fires. Fatwood. You can see all the resin just bubbling, oozing out of it. If you're not careful, it'll drip on you. It's not real cool. Take a lot of picking to get a belly full. But I reckon it'd be better than nothing. Good greens if you're living on a meat diet. A little dirt in there. Good for you. This hunt reminds me of those stories you read about some drop camp caribou hunt where 
these guys get dropped off out in the middle of nowhere in Alaska and not having any caribou. It's kind of what this hunt's been like. This is, it's very contingent on having snow, which we always have, except now. It's, uh, it's been unseasonably warm and we just, the deer just dis dispersed. They're still up high. Um, nothing you can do about it, but try to hunt the deer that are here. And, you know, there's a few of them around, but nothing. I mean, not even a fraction of what, what there should be. We just saw a pretty nice buck down here, way on down though. Just gotta kinda try to get on the same elevation with him. Just see what he does, it's getting kinda late. They rain? Huh? They rain? Yeah, it rained last night. Oh. It's been raining on us all day long. Really? Is it yeah. is it quiet walking around up there then? Or? Oh, it's quiet. Okay. Well, unless you're in the snow, no, yeah. and then it's kind of crunchy, but. It's a delicate operation there. <laughs> yeah, it's good coffee drinking weather. Definitely sharpening arrows. Staying dry. Had a two-year-old eight-point walk 15 yards from me. Really? Yeah, but he caught me. I was I was just easing around one of those ridges, and I was trying to get to a rock to sit so I could look down in there, and I was just, you know, doing like this and looking. And I looked over, and he was 60 yards, feeding his way to me, head down, and I, I was just in the open. All I could do is sit down, and he walked right freaking to me and then turned and walked right over the ridge and I'm just sitting there like looking at him that was intense he got about 15 yards from me I had just caught me on the open I had no cover at all man because young buck two years old probably but I wouldn't have passed him up